After restarting the machine, reconnect to the host computer via sh. In the command line, enter CD Clipper. Enter Make Menu Config to compile the firmware using this configuration. Update firmware via DFU. Press and hold the boot button and connect to Eddie via a USB cable. Enter. While well, set to view devices, the picture shows a normal response. Install Eddie, ensuring that it is positioned 2 mm above the nozzle. Enter this command to update the firmware. Enter Lust to view devices as shown in the picture, normal. To update the firmware without using DFU mode, refer to Clipper official website. Enter this command. Get the USB communication ID. Update the firmware using this command. Follow the steps as shown in the diagram. Visit the official GitHub. Find the Eddy configuration file that suits your needs. The differences between the files are explained in the GitHub readme and the manual. This video shows how to use the most basic of the configuration files. Copy Eddy sample BigTreeTech Eddy CFG contents to the printer CFG file. Enter this command to query the USB communication ID. Copy this ID into the printer CFG file. Adjust the bed mesh settings according to the guidelines in the sample configuration file. For more information about bed mesh settings, you can also visit Clipper website. If you are using the Eddy for homing, then make sure that you are using the correct sample configuration file and configure the Save Z Home settings according to the guidelines in the configuration file. More information about Save Z Homing also be found at the Clipper official website mentioned earlier. When using the Eddy as the Z end stop, you must use the sample configuration file for homing. Also be sure to set the end stop underscore pin to probe. Z underscore virtual underscore end stop under the stepper underscore Z section. And comment out position end stop. Now, let's calibrate the drive current of Eddy. Position Eddy 20 mm above the heated bed using the 20 mm cube. Once positioned correctly, remove the cube. Run the command. LDC calibrate drive current chip equals BT Eddy from mainsail or fluid. Enter or click save config to save the configuration. Note. Ensure that no height map is present prior to calibrating the frequency and height relationship. Enter G28XY to home the X and Y axes. Enter this command to move the printhead to the center of the bed, adjusting XY values where necessary. Begin manual Z offset calibration by entering this command.
Ensure there is slight resistance when moving the paper the same applies for subsequent operations. Confirm the appropriate location, remove the paper and then click Accept. Click Save Config to save setting parameters. For printers with the quad gantry level function, run quad gantry level to prevent the nozzle from colliding with the heated bed. At this point, you should be able to create a bed mesh using the command. You can adjust scanning parameters by changing the bed mesh section in the configuration file. Slower scans usually produce slightly more accurate results. Save the settings with Save Config. Temperature compensation ignore this step for the coil version. Hole all axes and keep the printhead in the center of the heated bed. Enter this command to set a longer idle timeout for the machine. Enter this command to start the thermal calibration. Consult the manual for a detailed explanation of the parameters in this command. Immediately after executing the above command, a manual Z offset calibration will be required. Manually heat the heated bed and printhead, and wait for the temperature to rise along with BigTreeTech Eddy. The Eddy will request another paper test at each subsequent temperature node. Step equals for means that the paper test will be repeated each time. The eddy temperature rises by 4 degrees Celsius until the target temperature is reached. Keep in mind that it may take some time for the temperature to rise. If you find that the temperature is no longer rising then, you can terminate the calibration early by using the commands in the manual. After the temperature calibration is complete, Click Save underscore config to save the calibration parameters. Your eddy calibration is now complete.